Oh, shit. I'm leaving that in. I'm not even going to edit that out. can't put her finger in the trigger. Well, do right. That's bullshit. Hey, welcome back, fellow collectors, the Brave's Toy Review. I am your host, Brave, and today we are taking a look at the uh, Bandai SH Figuarts, Age of Ultron, Avengers, Marvel, Hulk. That's a lot to say for one character. This is him. That's his fist on the box, because that's his, what he be doing, his Hulk be smashing. And then he's got some stuff written right there. And that stuff says, S.A. Tricky Wars is a new standard and blah, 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 blah. You've seen that crap before. And then it's top of the packaging right there. And then you got Hulk with his face and his mouth. It looks really animated, like an animated character instead of like a real live person. And then you could, but then figure arts is more into the anime stuff, so you know. And then you got SH Figure Arts is a series that, but we already know that crap. Let me that says. And then you have Avengers Age of Ultra, we already know what that crap says. Then on the back, you have product shots, product shots, and more product shots. You have the Hulk, because that's the Hulk. You got the back style, look at that back. He's been working that back. Back's looking good, bro. Back's looking good. Then you got molding, because he's got molding on him. And then you got movable, because. Because he's movable. Okay. So, yeah. That's what you got. All right. Let's take him out of this package and take a look inside this box. Just open this box up. And I don't usually open up the packaging straight up on a video like this. But I don't expect this to be a very long review. So, all right. Here we have Hulk inside of his clamshell deal. This is what holds him. And it's just the figure. It's pretty. So, he's got a little bit of weight to him. He comes with extra hands to hold stuff. He comes with fists already on him, and he comes with the head, with his mouth open, like, ah! And that's all he comes with, and this guy goes for a lot, and he don't really come with nothing. And I don't really understand that, is it because it's just a Hulk, or what? Well, I don't know. So, here we have the Hulk, and he's standing up, and he looks pretty good, though. I'll give him that. This is some SH Figuarts goodness right here we're looking at. Well, technically, he comes with this plastic sitting inside the head, pop down. That's sitting inside of here to make him comfortable like a blankie. So that's that's cool, right? Yeah, he comes with that. It'd be inside of there. All right, so let's take a look at this damn plastic's getting in my way. Let's take a look at that head sculpt. Ah, his mouth is open. Keep your mouth open, somebody's gonna put something in it, Hulk. This, this is a really handsome Hulk compared to many of the Hulks you see. It's got some really nice dental work going on there. Look at that. You can just see that this particular Hulk brushes every day. And um, it doesn't like we have any cavities or anything like that. So you just continue brushing and make sure you gargle. And <laughs> I'm tripping. Yeah, so yeah. A uh, really nice face sculpt on this. Look at that hair, man. Look at that hair. He's got a full head of hair. Eyes look really... I don't know. Just really... Car His face looks really cartoonish. Look at the eyebrows going up and down saying, I'm angry, mother... F yeah, paint, no paint flaws on this, as I can tell. I mean, it's, it's pretty decent. What do you want? It's pretty good. You know what I mean? It's a head. So there you go. All right. And then you have him with these hands... That are like really big grabber hands. Like I'm grabbing some Kamehameha type. A Dukin forming the power. Like, oh, you get and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? And so he's forming it. And he's got Marilyn Manson going on on the nails. Meaning he's painting his nails because they're gamma. But funny when he's not in his Hulk mode, he's not gamma. So, yeah. Let's get on to the Hulk because the Hulk's looking really good. Look at those pecs. 
Get your pecs done, bro. Get your pecs done. <laughs> he looks really good. Okay, articulation-wise, this guy is heavily articulated. Look at that ab crunch. Then you got a little bit of swivel going on right there. You got that's you got this little deal here, so it moves back and forth. Then you have his uh, SH Figure Arts joint. It's just a bigger version of what you typically see. Now, what you don't get out of this is a separation between the uh, the shoulder, the delts, and the uh, bicep, tricep area, the little, the uh, this whole portion of the arm area here. Usually, this would be uh, articulated uh, individually. There'll be a cut there, so that's kind of weird. But I guess because the character is so massive, um, that's what you get. So, uh, well, you know what? Let's let's check out Cap here. All right. So Cap has his shoulder on a little flap. No, yeah, because you get that, that cut there, so you get a uh, rotation right there. So I find it kind of funny that they didn't bother to give Hulk that. I'm not sure why, but it's, it's Bandai, it's SH Figure Arts. I'm not going to question them because they're good at what they do. Then you have this double joint here, um, but you don't get much motion out of the top portion here. You get You get a little something, but not much. See that? All the motion's here, baby. It's all here, right there. You got this fist that comes on him, and you can you can pop that fist off, and then you got the little uh, peg inside of her on a ball right there, and you can take this fist and you can put it on. Put that fist on. You can take that fist and you can put it on. Take that hand, you can put it on. There you go. That's good stuff. Then yeah, Hulk can be all like, hold on, see if he can be all like it. Hold on. Be all like it's clobbering. No, you can't get clobbering time. Why can't you get clobbering time? Because there's no cut right here, and I'm not, I'm not sure there's no cut there because they wanted to preserve the uh, mold, the sculpt, you know, and, and uh, the detail of the sculpt. But I would have really have preferred to have seen that cut there. That's that bicep swivel, because then you can get some clobbering time, but you just can't get it like that, and that's kind of uh, brings about the rage. Okay, so he's got some really nice um, muscular sculpt all throughout the chest area, all throughout the torso, the back. He doesn't really have love handles. That's beefy chunkiness. The airbrush is really nice here. Look at that, that's really nice. That brings it out, it looks, it looks good. It looks really good. Look at that face, it's just handsome. You're handsome, Hulk. Not so handsome, now you got beady little eyes. I wouldn't trust you, motherfucker. And then, but he's got really red gums. Yeah, look at those teeth. Uh, not so good on the uh, dentistry there, huh? Are we, Hulk? Okay, so yeah. And then you got his uh, Avenger pants. And you can see the little Avenger emblem right there. That's really cool. I guess it came up with that so David Banner could wear that. Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner? Bruce Banner. <laughs> David Banner's a rapper. Uh -huh. <laughs> so Bruce Banner could wear that under his uh, clothes so he wouldn't be butt naked when he turned back to regular old Bruce. Okay, so they got some really interesting articulation on this guy, and I, I can only guess because of the size of the figure. This uh, cod piece, the the little uh, crotch piece and all that, and the buttocks, that's all hard plastic. It's not soft like you typically see on some of the SH Figure Art stuff. Um, and then this is on a swivel here with a ball hinge there. So... And then you, you this is, so this serves as your um, thigh swivel here. You got the knee on a double articulated point there. That's pretty cool. And wait a minute. I think I see some metal in there. A metal pin. Cool. All right. And then you have the foot on that funny little uh, big, uh, Bandai SH Figure Art style uh, ball peg joint there um, with the swivel hinge and all that shit. And then here you have, hey, that's the first word of the, uh, of, that's the first curse word of the uh, review. Awesome. And then you have some toe articulation there on those toes. You can bend them up forward like about that. So yeah, all in all, he's a really solid figure. Now, this is not the KO. <laughs> By no KO. This is, this is official, baby. Authentic. But, <laughs> but the KO is out there. And from what I understand, the KO actually looks a little better. Uh, what I have seen in the KO is a little bit darker than this guy. All of this is he's a darker green, darker airbrush. But um, as far as I understand, the quality is is uh, the same, if not better. And I, now I can't attest to it because I don't have it, so don't quote me on it. Don't go out there and get that KO for thirty dollars and it's sucking, and you try to be like, brain tell me, brain tell me that KO's good. I didn't say it. Don't lie on me. Why you want to lie on people? So yeah, but um. If you can get your hands on this guy, I would say get him because he looks really good. He's just not the most 
overly poseable as, 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 as you be. You, you, as you, he's not the most. God damn, I just had a flow, or didn't I? Hey, another curse word. Awesome. It's not as poseable as most of the uh, figures you expect out of Bandai. But, uh, oh, you know what I want to do? Hold on. Dragon Ball music. That's a Dragon Ball Z climax music. That's not really the tune, but you know, screw it. So I mean, I got a figure that can stand up besides um, uh, Brawly. So I just had it. I just had to do this. Now here's a deal. Brawly's bigger than fucking Hulk. Now you seen like online where they have Brawly can't stand up for shit though. You, you seen on hey another curse word. They you seen online where they have like um, the fan videos of this superpower fighting that superpower, and they always do like Superman versus Hulk. I've seen like um, Goku versus Hulk, but I've never seen Hulk versus Brawly, and I wonder why no one's thought to do that because that makes sense. And here's what's real. They're standing like they're really close right now. I mean, Brawley's got some Brawley's got some dealt work going on, dude. Like Brawley's Brawley, hey, do you you even dealt, bro? Like <laughs> you even showed the press, bro? He's got a, he's got it going. Hey, look at those pecs, man. Brawley Brawley's pretty intense, but still, Brawley got a little bitty head. Hulk smash little Brawley's head, smash you. Um, here he is next to Marvel Selects Rhino. I haven't completed the uh, marvel bath rhino yet but i think they're about the same size except this guy's a lot heavier um that's still a pretty good that's still a pretty good scale um again i'm not sure how much or what the size difference is on the rhino um legends class i mean marvel legends bath but uh for selects that's a pretty good scale right there uh, i'm looking at you in your face because hokey's scared or oh, put you <laughs> all right and before i do this next comparison i want to just show this out check that out that's a pretty that's a pretty good pretty good range of motion on the uh on the shoulder there dude as far as going up that's really good dude like he's getting he's bearing down that's pretty cool right i'm about to punch i'm about to i'm about to bust something do it, Hulk. Do it. That's him standing right there. I was just like messing around with him, and he's standing. This guy stands phenomenally. Phenomenally? Phenomenally? He stands phenomenally. He looks really great. Check that out. Let's go up. Let's get the low shot. Yes, Hulk. What is your motivation? You wanted a cappuccino. Grande. Starbucks was all out. Now you're pissed off. Here he is, and finally here he is next to the Marvel Legends Bath Hulk Buster, and this is where it kind of starts falling apart. Um, I am of a mindset that my Hulk should be quite close in scale to my Hulk Buster, but I could be wrong. I mean, if you really consider it, the Hulk Buster has to be a bit bigger because it has to take on the Hulk, who, whether he's at this size or even huger because he's pumped on gamma radiation, um, it has to be able to take him on. So I don't think that's too bad. I don't think that's too bad. Go to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to smash you. So here's a question for you. Which one is Holly Holmes and which one is Ronda Rousey? You tell me. Hit the comments up. Let me know because it would be good to let me know which one would win in a fight. I really would like to hear this from you guys. Like, I know a lot of times only a couple of you guys actually respond. Oh, oh. But this will be a good conversation. So who will win between Brawley and SH Figuarts Hulk? Not Marvel Hulk, but SH Figuarts Hulk. Oh. Smash. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Until next time. Hey, thank you very much for joining me on Brave Story Review. I am your host, Brave, and we're out.